and on the road, and they face really some of the stiffest competition. They're home for three now. So this is a, the part of the schedule. They've got uh, teams that they can beat right now, plus they got Scarborough coming up, which is a big one. So they've got three big games for them where they, they can make some noise at home. Yeah, they're coming off a tough loss uh, on Tuesday night. 61-48, and uh, Bobby uh, Cody uh, with 27 points that night. Uh, yeah, coming off a tough loss. I believe while we were talking, I think Patrick Leland got the basket underneath. Oh, an underhanded scoop shot, and he's going to draw the foul. That might be on Dakota. I'm not sure. It is on Dakota. Second personal foul on Dakota. And that'll finally send somebody to the foul line with uh, only 51 and a half seconds left to go in quarter number one. Again, the score now is uh, 11 to eight. Make that 12 to eight as going to the line is number five. And that's uh, Alex Owens. And he misses a second. Tigers come up with the ball. They're down by four with about 45 seconds left. You know, coming into this game, we figured it'd be the, well, let's see if Cody hits here. I still can't get it to go. We thought it was going to be the Cody and Bowers show, but really they haven't been the factors in this one yet. No, the, uh, the, the uh, Biddeford's doing a really good job with these uh, against these uh, big, tall guys of uh, oh, yeah. underneath. Well, they're getting their chances. Another outside shot by Dakota. No good. Leland, good move, but he lost control. Good position for that rebound. We're down to 30 seconds and counting. Cody dishes it off to Dakota. D Dakota! Let's see, whoa. Let's see what happened. Basket's good. All right, Leland gets the foul, but Dakota gets the, uh, the three, rather. Leland gets the foul, but a three-pointer by Andrew Dakota from outside. Good decision, too, by Cody to dish that off. As uh, we left, Well, now we get some lights going off. And that is not us, folks. Oh, there it is. Now the lights are on again. Well, 12 to 11. Yeah, well, it is Friday the 13th. We did say that, right? Thanks for reminding me. That's what happens. Meant that as a joke earlier, but I guess something did happen here. And that uh, goes Bowers with a nice running one-hander. He can't get it to go. Barboza comes up with it. We're down to eight seconds left as he pushes the ball up. Looking for an open player. That's Neto. Barboza lets it go at the buzzer, and that's no good. But we have a good one here from the Steve White gym after one quarter. One period of play from the time, from the Steve White gym. It's Gorham 12, Biddeford 11. Kevin and I will be back after we take a break. Okay, we're back. Uh, again, uh, Tigers will be going from left to right as they were in the first quarter. They'll switch at halftime. Again, no more jump. Oh, nice pass on a running one-hander in the lane. They tried to hit Cody on the fly. Neto had the right idea, but a good defensive play by Gorham. Yeah, Dan Holmes there uh, blocked the ball. Uh, we got a new player in two, uh, Wayne Sullivan. Yeah. He just buried one. Yeah. Sullivan with his first basket coming off the bench. Up and in is uh, Patrick Laveria. Laveria answers right back for his first basket. You know, we got a bunch of people in the scoring column. It's just not a two-man show like we thought it would be. Very uh, spread out here in the scoring. Sullivan is starting, oh, nice he is starting to heat up. Yeah, he scored 18 points in the loss on Tuesday night uh, to uh, Wyndham. Obviously he's a six player coming off the bench because uh, he's added a spark to them. And he's a tall kid at 6'4", but he's got a good outside touch. Neto dishes inside and just can't get a handle of it was Nick LeBlanc. So the Rams, 16-13 uh, to 13 leader here against the Tigers. Score after one was 12-11. to 11. They go outside to, and the perimeter right now, Tigers closing up the inside pretty good, forcing Gorman to go outside with that size. And it works as uh, Cody gets a nice pass to Neto. Neto is in a little deep, but stops off the glass a little too strong, and Bowers comes up with it. He'll slow things up. 
Yeah, the, the uh, Tigers really did a good job on that, uh, br breaking up that, uh, that pass and uh, just st swarming the ball. Well, Gorham, that's a case where they use their size again. The shot from outside was missed, and then uh, 33 for them. Dan Holmes comes up and converts. That's Holmes' first basket. And now Gorham is up there lead as Cody trying to get the HUD hand and still can't get it to go. Bobby Cody's, uh, again, a little bit cold right now to start, just like the weather. Cody with the rebound, though. He's doing a great job on the defensive end of the, of, of the uh, floor. Cody is still very much involved, I'll tell you, on the defensive part. He's made some very uh, good plays. Yeah, Patrick Oliveri uh, came up with that uh, jump ball, uh, and uh, Gorham has the uh, possession. And again, they go inside, and it's tipped by Cam Neto. I'll tell you, Neto is uh, not a big guy, neither, 5'10". But he just swiped it out of Holmes, who scores 6-2. Gave up at least four inches on that. Bowers is going to drive one-hander and just can't get it to go again. Bowers hasn't got the hot hand either. And that's going to be backcourt. Yeah, that'll be backcourt. All right, off the foot. So, yeah, that's an easy call for the ref to make. Yep. Again, we'll try to pick up subs as they come in uh, now and then. Uh, I think we did have a 34, Kilborn now. Nick Kilborn is in, replacing uh, Holmes. Cody up off the glass and in. Good driving the baseline. I noticed Nick LeBlanc in there too, first time. Uh, yeah, Nick's played a little bit here and there. And uh, again, we mentioned uh, we got a player hurt right now, and that's uh, number 11 for them. That's the big guy, Ryan Sullivan, as we uh, might have a little bit of bleeding going on. Why don't we just take a quick break, and we'll be back. Okay, the injured uh, player, is he's being attended to, there's a little bit of bleeding going on there. Kind of caught something. Uh, is Ryan Sullivan, who's really had a good first half since he's come in. Coming back in will be 33, Dan Holmes, who just took a seat for a couple minutes. Nick Kilborn, outstanding football player, is in there now, number 34. Get to say hi to his dad earlier on, Dave Kilborn. And they drive, they dish it down to Nick, up and off the glass. Kilborn makes his presence felt right away. Nice pass, too. Yeah, good dish by Bowers. Uh, definitely a... Uh, and now he's speaking of a nice pass, that was dished nicely by Nick LeBlanc to Patrick Laveria, who will uh, draw the foul. And that's the first time Biddeford will go to the line. And that's Holmes gets his second foul. Patrick Wilson, will, excuse me, Patrick Laveria will go to the line for the first time tonight. Hey, this one comes at the 448 mark. It's the first time Biddeford's been in the foul line. Laveria buries his first one. He's got three points on the evening. And Benefit trails now 20 to 16. And they can't bury the second one. So 20 to 16, a four-point Gorham lead here in the first half. Again, with 440 to go till halftime. Alex Owen stops about eight feet away on a running one-hander and he buries it. Six points now by Owens. McEwen up over uh, Kilborn, can't get it to go. Just couldn't get the leverage up there as Bowers. As they dish it inside. But Benefit closed the lane up real, uh, very tight that lane. They're making it, forcing him to go outside. Good defense by Bitterford too. I mean, uh, not giving him the lane, uh, but uh, he did draw the foul. Yeah, he did draw the foul. That could have gone either way. Uh, that's Patrick Laveria with the foul. And that will send uh, Owen to the line. Alex Owens is actually the leading scorer of this game with six points. He's only one of two players on their whole team that's under six foot. Hey, good point. Yeah, yeah. 
Owens, uh, four minutes and one second left to go till halftime. Looking for his seven point, can't get it. It's like 34 over the back. Yeah. Nick uh, Kilborn. Oh. Kilborn, yep. Five team fouls for, uh, five team fouls for, Norm is a <laughs> that was weird. Uh, Bobby Cody just kind of, uh, Bobby Cody just kind of went down and we're gonna get some kind of a hold. Looks like Nate Moody kind of pushed him down but there was no yeah. foul and the ref said, let's play. Yeah. Well, we get a foul him trying to pick it up. That's Kilborn. Uh, actually, it's not Kilborn. It's 24. Carter Bowers picks up his first foul. Trying to pick up the fouls as they go along. Barboza Silva now with Dakota. Tigers are all set up here in the perimeter. Four players on the outside. Again, uh, Gorm's going to make it tough to go inside on you with that size. Three players on the uh, on the drive there and uh, couldn't get it the the ball up. Well, we have also another player in for Gorm, Sam Fisher, 22, into the lineup now for the uh, Rams. Benefit also, I think, has a 15. We'll try to get that as soon as we get. That's uh, for the Tigers. 15 is Matt Cody, the wide receiver in football. Have his brother? Nope. No, no, I don't know. And Matt Cody is a well, goes to at least six one, six two. He's only a junior. Outside shot by Fisher is no good. Kilborn saves it, but the Tigers Cody now gets it, and Cody pushes it up the court. Gus Barboza Silva driving a one hander up and in. Nice one handed layup, yeah. right off the glass. Nice drive. A little bit of a finger roll that time. Gave him the baseline. Oh, and he, and Barboza steals it. He's giving him a spark. He goes up off the glass. In! Four in a row for the Tigers. 22 to 20. Nice pressure by Barboza there uh, with the steal. Well, he's aggressive. Gr aggressive defender. And uh, Cody now guarding his counterpart. Actually, 22 as they go up high post. They go back into the corner to Fisher. Fisher again stealing in the passing lane was Nick LeBlanc. He got right into that passing lane, anticipated where the pass was going. Dakota can't get at the foul. Cody was, was trying to watch himself not to draw, not to uh, foul. That's gonna be way over the top. And the Tigers will take over. Bad Coach Chacon wasn't too uh, happy about that one. No, bad pass there by uh, Alex Owens. Yeah, he was trying to um, he was trying to hit Moody, who had come down the wing over here, but uh, that ball ended up in uh, almost uh, to the cheerleaders instead. Tigers a chance to tie it here, and up, oh, and in! Bobby Coney with a three. Well, you're gonna see it sooner or later when he heats up. Watch out! Another steal by the Tigers. Here we go again. Barboza Silver is really giving him a spark, and now that's Dakota up and in at the foul line. And the Tigers are on a roll, and Gorham Rams want a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be back. Okay, timeout's over. I thought Gorham wanted to talk about stop benefit from. They're getting it just as hot as this gym is, I think. Yeah, uh, uh, Bobby Cody's being played good defense too oh, by yeah. Nate Moody. I mean, he's like his shadow. So, but uh, it looks like Bobby Cody's ready to uh, step it up a little bit. Yeah, got another steal. Yeah, seven unanswered points. You know, Barbosa. This, this this lineup here is a quick lineup. Cody trying to find any kind of room off a little bit too strong off the glass. Cotto was looking inside to Cody, cutting, and he gets it back. Wilson with a three, up and no good, a little bit too strong. But look at the hustling work by Dakota. They thought for a minute it was out on Fisher, but the official called differently. Well, benefit of like somewhere around seven unanswered points here. They, they've, uh, I think it was 22-18 at one point or so, and now it's 25-22, benefit leads. We're under a minute to go till halftime. Fisher in the corner tries to bounce it to uh, finally he does a three point attempt as air ball by uh, Dan Holmes. Out of bounds, that will be Biddeford's ball. 
there's a foul on uh, number 24. Okay. He's Bowers? Back of, uh, over the back of um, Bobby Cody. Well, that would explain why the teams are coming down shooting that foul shot, too. But if it's finding the open man uh, and they're getting some good looks at the basket. Oh, they are. There's no question. If they would have buried half the shots at the beginning, this game would be probably out of uh, hand now. It would be, be at least a 10-12 point game. Cody at the foul line for the first time. He buries it. Bobby Cody was eight points. Six here in the second quarter, just two in the first. Man, he misses, but follows his shot up off the glass, up and in. Well, even when he makes a mistake, he covers for himself after. He's starting to heat up also. You can see it. We're down to 36 seconds and counting. Cody going for the steal. Bit of a very aggressive defense for Mike Fecchio. I'm going to be a, a, that's a blocking foul on the Tigers. And uh, that's Patrick Leland, right? Uh, 24. 20, uh, 33. 33. Yeah, 33. Yeah. Didn't want to give him the baseline there and uh, took, the, took the foul. And that'll send Gorham to the line, but you know, both teams are in a penalty, but it doesn't matter. There's only 30 seconds left in the half. That'll send uh, Mr. Holmes to the line. Holmes, uh, so. Rebound by Kilborn up and in. Tell you, Kilborn hasn't played much, but he's uh, done a good job off the bench. Kilborn's done a good job off the bench, putting some spark inside. Cody looking for any kind of room, up and in, right over the Twin Towers underneath. I say Twin Towers, they're about 6'3". Good pass uh, two there to, to, to uh, open Cody uh, driving near the, uh, near the basket. Well, 10 points for Bobby Cody here in the second quarter <coughs> after a two-point first, so 12 for the game. Tigers will have one more shot here with two seconds left. Cody at half court, up and off the rim. So, we've ended a half from the Steve White Gym. The score is Benefit 30, Gorham 24. Kevin and I and Brett will be back with some uh, stats and the, third, and the second half after we take a break. Hi, uh, Kevin Jordan here back with Andy Poria and we've got a uh, great matchup, uh, Biddeford 30, the Rams 24. The uh, scorers in the game, uh, Kyle Neely with four 